Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we're going to be cooking pepper crusted barrel cut beef fillet. I'm going to be firing up the master built 560 today. We're going to put a few chunks of cherry wood in there for smoke, for flavour. I'm going to be cooking this beautiful barrel cut fillet of beef. But first, we're going to knock up a lovely rub with three different types of peppercorns. It's going to be good. So this has been sat in my fridge for a couple of days. We dry brined it, so we put some salt on it, left it uncovered for a couple of days. It's got this lovely deep red colour. So this is perfect. It's going to set this to one side and we're going to make our pepper rub. So for the rub, for the crust, I'm going to be using three different types of peppercorns. I've got some pink peppercorns, I have some black peppercorns, and I've also got this jungle pepper. Now this stuff I've used before gives a lovely, almost spiciness, but the flavour you get from these is absolutely banging. So I'm going to mix these three with some coriander seeds, some cumin seeds, some paprika. We're going to rub the beef with some mustard, and we're also going to stick a little bit of salt into the crust, into the rub. So first of all, in we go with about a tablespoon of black pepper, about a tablespoon of pink peppercorns, and about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of the jungle pepper. Now to that, we're gonna go in with about, a, about two teaspoons of coriander seeds, a couple of teaspoons of cumin seeds, a couple of teaspoons of paprika, and about a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just gonna smash that down. We don't want a powder, we want to leave some nice little chunky bits to form a lovely crust on our beef. And that is the consistency we're going for. So we're going to get the mustard onto the beef and get this all over the beef. Now onto this barrel cut fillet. Let's get some mustard on there. We're going to get this all over. Good old English mustard. I'm just going to spread that all over the fillet, all the way around. This is going to add a little bit of flavour, but most importantly, it's going to help that rub the crust that we've made to stick. And now we take this lovely rub that we just made and we're just going to start sprinkling that on and just patting it on as we go along. You want to get the entire fillet just covered with this crust. With fillet, um, yes, it's a lovely tender cut, but I find that it maybe doesn't have the flavour of maybe a ribeye. Um, so this crust is going to give us flavour. I'm going to be using the Thermapen dot today to monitor the internal temperature. This is so easy to use. Um, I've literally, you take it out of the packaging, you pull the little bit of cellophane out from the batteries and it turns on. Um, and you've got down here, you've got the alarm temperature. So I'm going to be cooking this to around about 52, 53 Celsius. But we're, so we're going to set the alarm. Let's set it for 52. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's saying it's currently 36 degrees here in my shack. It does feel hot, it is August, it is a hot sunny day, and I'm cooking roast beef, I'm, I must be mad, but if anybody tells you you shouldn't have a roast dinner on a hot sunny day, then um, they shouldn't be your friend. So anyway, we're gonna be using this to monitor the internal temperature, nice and simple, let's crack on. I'm gonna be using a couple of chunks of cherry wood. I've got them in here in the ash pan, so when the hot embers fall down on here, you get a lovely subtle cherry smoke flavor. Uh, I've also got one in the charcoal popper, um, so we're going to get a lovely cherry flavour on there. So there's the cherry, let's get it sparked up, get, get it set the temperature, get that beef on. And there we go, pepper crusted, barrel cut fillet of beef with some roast potatoes, all cooked in the master built. We used the thermopen dot to cook it to temperature. Um, we don't cook the time, we cook the temperature. So I've cooked this to about 51 to 52 degrees Celsius. We've let it rest for about half an hour while the roast potatoes cooked. I've put it back on for a, a screaming hot sear. So this has got 
lovely crust formed on here now. It feels nice and soft. It feels and smells absolutely amazing. So um, let's slice in. Let's not fanny about. Straight into the middle and see how we've done. And there you go, look at that. Beautiful medium rare all the way through. Um, so we're gonna take a few slices out of this and have that with these potatoes and a bit of gravy. That's it, because that's how I roll today because it's boiling hot, it's like 30 degrees, I'm melting. You can probably see the sweat coming off me. Um, so that's my barrel cut fillet of beef with a pepper crust. Smells amazing, looks amazing. Let's have one little slice just to show you. Oh boy. That crust, that pepper crust is insane. So we did sear it slightly, not the normal sear that you get on there, the caramelization, um, but the crust more than makes up for that. I mean, you've got to give this a go and just look how beautiful that beef is. Nice and tender, medium rare. I am one happy chappy. I've been a smoking elk, you've been brilliant. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.